If I had my way, everything would be so nice. This world would be like Paris. No, it would be a paradise. No one would ever have to say, I'm going to get my wish someday. All one would have to do is say, this is my order, if you may. Welcome to another episode of The School Without Walls. I am Anthony O. Hobbs, host and founder of this educational program. Uh, this program is primarily designed to accent the positive of African Americans. However, from time to time, we do deviate and talk about other things of interest to our community. Uh, today, I have uh, Dr. Pamela D. Moore. She is a PDSO officer, International Programs and Studies, School of Agriculture, Fishery, and Human Services. She's been on the program several times. Glad to have you again. Today, you're going to sort of do an overview of uh, what this program is all about today, right? Right. You may proceed. Okay. Well, uh, I'm the uh, principal designated school official. That's a long title. Yeah, yeah, say it again. Uh, for principal designated, designated school, school official mm -hmm. in the Office of International Programs and Studies mm -hmm. with the School of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Human Sciences. My, my, uh, my. Long, long, long title. Long but long uh, title. but uh, presently, in that capacity, my primary responsibility is to work with our um, international students, although I also uh, help to coordinate other kinds of international programs. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, we have a uh, somewhat non-traditional international student on campus here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Maki Eguchi is from Japan, mm -hmm. and she is a Fulbright a uh, foreign language teacher assistant, <laughs> teaching assistant. Okay. And we just use FLTA to abbreviate all that. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Eguchi uh, is here to uh, teach J Japanese mm -hmm. as a foreign language for UAPB students. And she is doing this in collaboration with the School of Business. Um, the idea being that the world is becoming so global that uh, business students should have an appreciation of the Asian uh, market. Mm -hmm. uh, and Japan, in and of itself, is an economic superpower. Mm -hmm. So she is collaborating and te teaching a class on international marketing whereby another teacher teaches the marketing and she focuses on Japanese language and culture. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here because the Office of International Programs is one of her co-sponsors uh, in terms of working with the School of Business, uh, submitting the application, um, uh, facilitating her cultural program, mm -hmm. um, uh, working with her to arrange opportunities to do public outreach, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I say she's a, a special, special student <laughs> is because she's not enrolled in a degree program, but she is taking um, uh, two classes a semester. Nice. And that is a part of the uh, that's a part of the agreement with the Institute for International Education. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, uh, this program is uh, funded by the U.S. Department of State, and uh, it is administered by the Institute for International Education. And each year there are hundreds of individuals who come from other countries uh, to teach their native language, take classes, and learn from their experience of being in the U.S. All right, I certainly thank you for that introduction. And, and after the break, we're going to have Mrs. Uh, Eguchi. Eguchi to come, right. and uh, I shall present her. Okay, great. Hello, my name is Latrice Smith. I'm a graduating senior here at the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, majoring in computer science. At this point, I thought that I would be struggling to find a job, but thanks to my mentor, Dr. Jesse Walker, and Career Services, I was able to obtain a position as a service management specialist. Latrice worked hard obtaining three internships while on campus. UAPB can help prepare students like Latrice for those same opportunities. UAPB prepared me.
Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. Millions of people are affected by disaster in America. And we're right there, providing food. With more than 200 food banks, reaching communities all across America. Donate now for immediate relief and long-term recovery. Every dollar helps provide food for disaster victims. Help now at feedingamerica.org. Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Yay. Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Uh, those of you who have just joined us, I'm Anthony Hobbs, host and uh, founder of this educational program called The School Without Walls. My guest is uh, Miss Maki Akuchi. Uh, she's Japanese and she is a, a Fulbright foreign language specialist. Uh, glad to have you. Nice to meet you. Okay, what happened out of all the schools we have in the United States, what happened you came to UA University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Uh, I'm a graduate student in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, my major is Japanese literature. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm interested in teaching Japanese language and culture in foreign country. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to learn English and American culture. Mm -hmm. So I applied uh, Fulbright Foreign Language Teaching Assistant Program. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they accepted my application. And then they decided uh, to send me to this university in mm -hmm. Arkansas. Okay, that's very good. You say you're here to teach Japanese language as well as learn. You, you're here to learn also, right? Mm -hmm. You want to learn uh, more about the, uh, the U.S. culture. Yes. Okay. Now, how much had you studied about the U.S. culture prior to coming here? How much knowledge did you have about the U.S. Mm. culture? Yeah, so I learned American literature. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the professors in uh, university, my university in mm. Japan, mm -hmm. uh, his major is uh, African-American literature. Is that right? African-American literature. Mm. Okay. Right. So yeah, I learned a uh, brief history of American American literature. Mm -hmm. And I also learned uh, uh, the history of American literature when mm -hmm. I was undergraduate. Mm -hmm. Now, can you tell me anything that you had learned about the African American through this class? African American literature is mm -hmm. what he taught you. Can you remember anything that he t taught you that you tell us about? Yeah. What did you learn about the African American before uh -huh. you came here? Okay. Yes. So uh, in Japan, um, American culture uh, is, uh, has also uh, one aspect. Uh, so very few, few, uh, few American culture. Mm -hmm. uh, so especially in Japan, uh, the connection between uh, the U.S. and Japan is very strong in West Coast, like race, California, ra race coast. Uh, West Coast, uh -huh. <laughs> California or uh, East Coast. Mm -hmm. So uh, mainly in Japan, uh, the knowledge about Ameri African American is, mm -hmm. is not, uh, is very few. Very little, uh -huh. very, very, little. very little known uh -huh. about the African American yeah. culture. Do yes. you not see the African American on television in Japan? Uh, not so many. Those so you see are clowns, aren't they? Clown? Clowns? Clowns, <laughs> they are dancing. Rapping, ah, rapping, huh? Yeah. Rapping? Yeah, rap, rap, rap musician. Yeah, rap music yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. But you don't get a chance to see the intellectual part uh -huh. of African culture. Uh, Is that right? Right. Okay. So in the literature class, 
uh, I learned the history of uh, slaves in slavery you in Japan. You talk about slavery uh -huh. in Japan. Uh -huh. Most Japanese high school graduates know about slavery in the United States. Is that right? Do yeah. they teach it in high school? Mm -hmm. They knew, yeah. You do? Yeah, mm -hmm. but not... Mm, not very much. Not very much, right. But in college, this mm -hmm. was an elective because mm -hmm. of your major. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Right. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I read uh, some novels. Uh, written by slaves, so slave narrative stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Now, uh, what uh, diplomatic relationship, if you understand, if not okay, mm -hmm. that Japan has with China? See, Japan is close to China. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any uh, mm -hmm. relationship with China as far as trade, mm -hmm. things of that nature, with China? You know, trade? trade? Industry? <gasps> Exchange students? Ah, yeah. So there are many international students from China in Japan. In Japan, mm. I see. Yeah. Uh, what about the Japanese learning the Chinese language? Is that one of the requirements? Uh, uh, no. No? Uh, but uh, Chinese language and Japanese language, uh, we share same kind of characters, mm -hmm. Chinese characters. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, I can't speak and read Chinese characters. You can or cannot? I cannot. You cannot. cannot. But I can understand the meaning of characters, uh -huh. even though I can't speak Chinese. Oh, so in other uh. words, you can read some of the language. Mm, yes. Right. Yeah. So you understand the characters, like uh -huh. we call them, alphabets in English, right? Ah, oh, right. There oh, you go. Mm. Okay. Excelente, excelente. Mm. Uh, since you've been here, what is it that you have learned that surprised you? Did anything surprise you about uh, about America? Okay. Yeah. So many things surprised me here. Mm -hmm. um, especially first I came here, uh, the students' English are very different from English I learned in Japan. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. uh, accent, intonation, mm -hmm. and slangs right. are very different mm -hmm. uh, from English I learned in Japan. So uh, I was very surprised and also still now I have very Difficulty to listen to to the understand English. some of the students, right? Yeah. You can understand some students better than others, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, when Doctor Moore yeah. talked to you, you understand her pretty well, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> because she speaks a different type of English uh -huh. than the average student here, right? Uh -huh. So yeah. that that right. that's a good education uh -huh. for you, right? Uh -huh. That's a good education to yes. understand those who don't speak uh -huh. uh, the best uh -huh. of the standard English. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, in teaching the classes, tell me a little bit about mm -hmm. uh, the progress you made in teaching because mm -hmm. I believe there's a learning process as you teach, mm -hmm. e you're teaching them Japanese, mm -hmm. and that's improving your English, is it not? Yes. Talk to me mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I have uh, my class in international marketing course. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, students, are interested in Japanese economy mm -hmm. or business or um, some of the students interested in Japanese fashion mm -hmm. or fashion, fashion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. crossings mm -hmm. or education or religion. Mm -hmm. So um, this semester, um, every week I have a, a lecture about different kind of topics. Mm -hmm. So um, my major is uh, literature, so I'm not familiar with Japanese economics or Japanese fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, so first uh, I researched about Japanese economics or crossings or mm -hmm. fashion. And then uh, I have to translate, mm -hmm. uh, translate Japanese to English. So, mm, so I, I researched about some Japanese words mm -hmm. in English in dictionary or internet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have only two minutes, so we're going to get mm -hmm. ready to close out here. Mm -hmm. I'm certainly proud to have you with us. Now, are you living on campus or do you live with some family here in the city? Uh, yeah, I live in a very big house oh, near in campus. The, in the city, right? In Pine Bluff, yes. W with a family? Uh, no. Uh, there are seven or eight people students? in the house. Students? Some of them are students. Some of them are not students. Is that right? Mm. Oh, okay. But we, we share a room in the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, now how long will you be with us at the university? 
How long? How long? How many months? How much more time? Uh, when are you leaving? Three, three months. Three months. Mm -hmm. And you're going back to Japan? Yes. And when you go back to Japan, what do you plan to do? Uh, I, I will go back to my graduate school and I keep continue my doctoral studies. Uh -huh. And also I will start teach uh, Japanese to international students okay. or to teach English to Japanese students. Okay, we've got to close out now. Will you communicate with Dr. Moore once you return to Japan? <laughs> You do that, yeah. and we want to know how you're doing. Uh -huh. Glad to have had you with us. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for inviting me here. Uh, uh, Saranata. Saranata. <laughs> <laughs>